I forgot my jacket at home and caught my cheating wife kneeling in front of my boss. Hey Reddit, this is literally my first time making an account on here and posting, but I'm doing this because I've been seeing a lot of videos popping up on TikTok with different stories that were taken from Reddit, usually with Minecraft in the background. So I thought, why not come and share my story with some internet strangers here? My wife doesn't really use Reddit. She says it's for old people, lol, so the chances of her stumbling upon this are pretty slim. And if she does, well, I guess that's on her. I'm in a tough spot right now. Sad, tired, and not sure what to do next. My name is Luca, and my wife's name is Jane. We've been married for about three years. Jane is 27, and I'm 26. We go way back to high school when we started as friends and then realized we had feelings for each other, eventually becoming a couple. Recently, I caught my wife cheating on me with my boss, James, and I'm completely blindsided by it. It's a very rough situation, and I'm here seeking advice and insights on how to navigate through this mess. You see, like I've said before, Jane and I go way back. We were high school sweethearts, the kind of couple everyone thought would last forever. And honestly, I believed it too. Of course, we had our fair share of ups and downs like any couple does, but we always managed to work through them. Or at least that's what I thought. Things had been a bit chalky between us. We argued more often, and there was this distance between us that I couldn't quite explain. There was even no sex or intimacy. It wasn't just the lack of intimacy, although that was definitely a red flag. It was the growing sense of disconnect, like we were two strangers living under the same roof. Trying to pinpoint the exact cause of it would be a bit crazy, as things have been all over the place. But I do have a few incidents that come to mind, or a few things that caused a lot of issues between us. First of all was her job, as she liked to call it. I work in cybersecurity, and yes, it is very stressful, but the pay is also very good. That means I am paid quite well enough to take care of all the bills in the house without it affecting me or my savings. But instead of appreciating this, Jane seemed to take it for granted. I had always noticed that Jane was a bit lazy. I guess I noticed it right from when I was way back in high school, but I was in love. Back then in college, I worked hard, honed my skills, and prepared for a successful career. I come from a wealthy family. I've literally had everything handed over to me since birth. And that is something that I didn't like very much. I wanted to break away from my family and build myself. I didn't want to be the kid that always had to rely on mom or dad for something. And that is something that has fueled and motivated me for a very long time. That is something that Jane capitalized on too. Because she always said even back then in college that she wouldn't put all her effort into college because I was putting in effort for both of us. She said that my wins were her wins and so anything I benefited was essentially hers. Back then I thought it was quite a romantic thing. But now that I think about it, I realize it's just pretty stupid. She barely graduated. In fact, barely. And that was only because I had to help her on a lot of projects because I genuinely did not want her getting held back or not graduating. Then after that, she refused to get a job. And even till now, she has refused to get a job. At first, she would say that it was a man's role to provide for his family. Jane insisted on being a stay-at-home wife. She kept on citing all these outdated notions about gender roles anytime I talked about her getting a job. It was frustrating to say the least. And then about a year ago, she suddenly got into content creation. She said YouTubing and content creation was the big thing now and that she had it in her to be an influencer. Of course, I encouraged and supported her, but after a year now, it became pretty clear that she was going nowhere with this content creation thing. I didn't want to be the one to put her down. And that is why I never really said much about it. The few times I dared to mention, she would erupt at me. She would lash out at me accused me of not believing in her, of trying to control her life. She would say I didn't believe in her and that I should believe in her because her big break was coming. It was frustrating to say the least. I've been carrying the financial burden of our household while she pursues these dreams that seem more like fantasies. And it's not just about the money. It's about feeling like I'm shouldering everything while she contributes little to nothing. It's about feeling like I'm not being appreciated for all the hard work I put in. But despite all this, I never thought she would cheat on me. That's a whole different level of betrayal. So how did Jane end up meeting my boss? It's a bit of a tangled tale, one that I never expected to unfold the way it did. It's something I've replayed in my mind countless times, trying to make sense of it all. You see, I should have seen the signs from the way Jane kept talking about my boss. She would mention him more frequently, praising his work ethic or his leadership skills, but I never thought much of it. After all, there was nothing about my boss that I considered worthy of Jane's attention, at least not in that way, plus I never thought Jane would cheat on me. It all happened at our company's annual dinner. I decided to take Jane as my date, thinking it would be a nice evening out together. Little did I know how wrong I was. 
At the dinner, Jane had the chance to meet my boss. Now let me be clear, my boss and I have never been the best of buddies. We've always maintained a neutral professional relationship, neither close nor antagonistic. However, the person I do get along with is his wife, who happens to be my boss's boss since her father owns the company. His wife is the real powerhouse in our company, not just because her father owns the business, but because of her sharp mind and strategic acumen. We've always had a good relationship, but nothing more than friendly banter and occasional work discussions. I must admit, I've always felt a bit uneasy about my friendship with my boss's wife, not because there's anything inappropriate about it, but because I sense a hint of jealousy from my boss. Perhaps he saw my friendship with his wife as a threat, or maybe he was just a jealous husband. But that would be weird as she's rarely in the company except for occasional visits to oversee things. So there we were at the dinner, Jane meeting my boss and probably sensing some tension between us, though she brushed it off. I noticed how Jane's eyes lit up at the sight of him, and as the night went on I couldn't shake off the uneasy feeling gnawing at me. Jane seemed too interested, too engaged in conversation with my boss. It was like she was drawn to him in a way that made my stomach churn. I noticed how her eyes lingered on him a little too long, how she laughed a bit too eagerly at his jokes. It made me uneasy, like there was an invisible connection forming right in front of me. Looking back now, I wish I had paid more attention to those gut feelings. Maybe then I could have avoided the heartache and betrayal that followed. After that company dinner, I couldn't shake off the feeling that something was off. I mean, how could I have missed it? Was it possible that Jane somehow exchanged numbers with my boss that night? Or maybe he found her on social media and reached out to her. Things had been getting a bit tense between Jane and me. We had this ongoing argument about her job situation, or lack thereof, and it was causing some friction. She was using content creation as an excuse for everything, like not doing chores or neglecting responsibilities around the house. It was frustrating because I felt like she was avoiding taking responsibility. If dishes were piling up or chores were left undone, it was always because she was busy creating content. The first red flag popped up about a week after the dinner. Jane suddenly became glued to her phone even more than usual. Now she was always on her phone due to her content creation gig, but this was different. She was texting nonstop, smiling at her phone like it held all the secrets of the universe. And she became super protective of her phone like it was Fort Knox, changed passwords, pins, the whole nine yards. It was odd because we'd always been open about these things before. Normally this behavior would scream cheating spouse in bold letters, but my brain didn't go there initially. Looking back, I should have seen it coming, but hindsight is always 2020. I should have recognized these as classic signs of infidelity, but my mind refused to go there. I trusted her, believed in our relationship, and couldn't fathom the idea of her betraying that trust. Oh, how wrong I was. So things started getting even weirder when Jane began leaving the house more often. At first, I didn't pay much attention to it until I checked her location randomly one day. I normally don't do this because I believe in respecting privacy, but my gut feeling was off the charts, and I needed to understand what was going on. Lo and behold, she wasn't at home. Not just that day, but the next day as well. She was popping up in random places like restaurants, bars, arcades, and shopping malls. This behavior was totally out of character for Jane. She was a homebody, never really ventured out unless it was necessary. Plus, her friends had all distanced themselves from her, so it wasn't like she had a social life outside of the house. Seeing her sudden escapades raised a huge red flag for me. What added to my suspicion was the fact that she had bought new clothes during this time, and it wasn't from our joint account. I asked her about it, and she fed me some story about brand deals and her content tracing taking off. Looking back, it was a blatant lie, but I bought it at the time. I even congratulated her on her supposed success. Little did I know that all those times she was out and about, she was with my boss. He was the one showering her with gifts, including those new clothes. It was like a punch in the gut when I finally connected the dots. Now thinking back, there were times when I almost caught my wife and my boss red-handed. It's insane to realize that it took a random coincidence, like me forgetting my jacket, for the truth to come out that this woman had been cheating on me. One time I wrapped up work about an hour earlier than usual, so I texted my wife saying, Hey, I'm on my way home. When I was about 20 minutes away, when I got home, I noticed something odd. She was breathing heavily and seemed flustered, like she'd been caught doing something. I thought it was strange, but the idea of her cheating didn't cross my mind. Yeah, I know, sounds dumb, right? People reading this might think, man, you were so blind, and yeah, I totally admit it. So how did I finally catch them in the act? It literally happened today, and I'm here on Reddit venting because I don't want to break down or do anything stupid. It was freezing outside, just a normal cold day. 
I made breakfast since my wife said she was too tired to bother. No big deal, I'm used to it. I got dressed and ready for work, hopped in my car and drove off. It was only when I reached the parking lot at work that I realized I forgot my damn jacket. Now it's not like I can work without it. The chill would kill me and my heater's broken. So I decided to head back home real quick. I'm usually early anyway, so it wouldn't make me late. Pulled up to our spot and bam, I see this strange car in the driveway. What's odd is I recognize it. It's my boss's car. Now they look alike, but I never thought it could be his. I went inside to grab my jacket, not knowing what was about to hit me. I stormed into the bedroom and there she was on her knees with my boss who was butt naked and she was giving him a blowjob. Okay, so this is definitely not one of my shining moments, but let's be real here. I started recording them. I mean, come on, who wouldn't in that situation? By then they had already clocked me and I don't think I need to describe the chaos that followed. Picture this, my boss scrambling to cover himself up. My wife stunned into silence, just slumped there on the floor. She didn't faint, she was just shocked, I guess. She never saw this coming and honestly, neither did I. I had to get out of there. I felt this mix of anger, disbelief and sadness like a tornado of emotions swirling inside me. Breaking down, screaming. Part of me wanted to do all that, but that's not who I am. So I just walked out, got back into my car and somehow drove to work. I don't even know how I made it there. I've been in a daze all day, just zoning out, barely getting through meetings. During my lunch break, I'm here typing this out. I've been getting calls from my wife, but I haven't picked up. My boss hasn't shown his face at work yet, and honestly, I don't know how I'm going to face either of them when I do. I'm left questioning everything about our relationship and wondering if there's anything salvageable left. I'm pouring my heart out on Reddit, seeking advice and clarity from strangers because I don't know what else to do. Update. Hey Reddit, it's been pretty wild to be honest, and I mean that in a surprising way. Thanks by the way for all the support. I'm really overwhelmed by it. When I posted this on the subreddit, I honestly didn't expect such a huge response. I know everyone says that, but seriously, I'm shocked and incredibly grateful. The amount of DMs and comments I've received is just staggering. I haven't been able to go through them all yet because there are so many. Thank you all so much. I'm truly overwhelmed. It's only been a few hours since I posted, which makes it even more surprising to see the flood of comments and messages. I want to take a moment to address some of the common themes in the responses. Firstly, many of you advise me to get a lawyer, and I'll definitely be doing that since I'll be going through a divorce. There's no room for forgiveness when it comes to cheating. A lot of you also asked about my boss. Honestly, I don't think there's much I can do to him legally. I don't even think I can try to report him to HR since this is a personal matter. However, some of you suggested showing the video to his wife, which I might consider despite the risk of getting fired. His wife is actually a nice person, and I think she'd listen. Like I had already anticipated, many of you pointed out that I was pretty stupid to not notice all those red flags. I admit I was pretty stupid for not noticing the signs. I messed up big time. It's one of those situations where hindsight is 2020, and now looking back I can see all the red flags I missed. I should have been more attentive and aware of what was happening in my own relationship. It's a hard pill to swallow, realizing how blind I was to what was going on right under my nose. So yeah, I messed up and I'm owning up to it. Regarding why my wife would cheat with my boss, I meant a couple of things. First, we made vows to be faithful to each other, so her actions are baffling. I've never cheated on her, not even when we were dating. Secondly, let's just say my boss isn't exactly a model of attractiveness. He's balding, overweight, with a massive potbelly. Basically, not someone you'd expect my wife to be interested in. Maybe she has some issues I don't know about. It's always puzzled me what his wife sees in him, given that she's stunning and he's, well, not. That's what I meant by her not being interested in my boss. I'm also grateful for all the supportive comments. It's really helping me process everything. I haven't contacted any family members yet, but that's on my to-do list. My wife has been calling and texting, but I haven't responded. I'll be asking her to leave our house. I haven't texted her yet because I want to make sure she doesn't take any of my belongings with her when she goes. I'll be there to oversee her moving out to ensure nothing of mine goes missing. Update. Hey Reddit, it's been roughly 24 hours since my last update and wow, the support here has been overwhelming. I just wanted to express my gratitude for all the love and encouragement I've received. Now on to the updates. Firstly, I did go through with kicking my wife out, although it was incredibly difficult. When I returned home, I was met with a shock. Everything was spotlessly clean, dinner was made, and my wife looked like she had been crying. She apologized profusely, begged for forgiveness, but I couldn't bring myself to forgive her just like that. I mean, she cheated with my boss, of all people. 
It felt ridiculous to even consider taking her back. I gave her an ultimatum, pack up and leave within 10 minutes. She cried, begged, but I stood firm. I even mentioned calling the cops, although it was a bluff. My house is legally her primary address, so calling the cops wouldn't have helped me kick her out immediately. It was a tough moment, but I couldn't bear the thought of living with someone who had betrayed me so deeply. She packed her things and I made sure she didn't take any of our joint assets. I also kept the cars since I had purchased them. She said she had nowhere to go, which was partially true as her family lived in another city. I didn't budge, told her to figure it out and showed her the door. As for my boss, he never ended up coming to work that day. So I decided to take matters into my own hands. I secured our joint account because I didn't want my wife spending my money and then called up my boss's wife. I asked her to meet me at the office tomorrow as I had something important to show her. Thankfully, she agreed. She seems to have understood the seriousness of the situation, though I didn't tell her what I wanted to talk to her about. I haven't reached out to my family yet because for some reason I can't figure out I keep putting it off, but I plan to finally do so tonight. It's been a whirlwind of emotions, going from married to facing divorce in what feels like the blink of an eye. I'll update you all again after I've spoken to my boss's wife and my family. Your support means everything during this challenging time. Update. Hey Reddit, it's been a minute, hasn't it? I know I promised to update you the next day after meeting my boss's wife, but things spiraled out of control pretty fast. Apologies for the delay, but here's the update. Uh, firstly, I want to thank all of you who checked in on me during this time. Your support means the world to me, truly. So let's dive into what happened after I met my boss's wife. My boss must have already known that he was screwed, but maybe he thought if he was nice or bribed me enough, I wouldn't spill. He showed up at work the next day trying to act all chummy with me, which was a joke considering our history. I ignored his attempts to play nice. When his wife arrived, it was a whole different scene. She could tell something was up from the way he was acting. He tried to distract her and give me work, but she saw through it. She asked him to leave because we needed to talk privately. He looked like he was about to break down, begging with his eyes for mercy as he left. I took his wife aside and showed her the video. I couldn't even muster the strength to speak. It was too much. The look on her face said it all, shock, confusion, disbelief. She thanked me for showing her and asked for the video, which I sent to her immediately. Surprisingly, she didn't fire me as I was kind of expecting. Instead, she insisted I take a week off, saying I needed time to process everything. I was taken aback but grateful. I packed my things and left the office without hesitation. I then headed to the park and spent hours there trying to make sense of it all. Then I called my family. I briefed them on the situation and told them not to let my wife in if she showed up. I also reached out to her family, of course they expressed shock and apologizing. They told me they were going to get in touch with her and send her money for a ticket back home, but I don't want to get involved anymore, I genuinely don't care. I hung up as fast as I could. The rest of the week I focused on myself. The house felt empty, so I thought about getting a pet for companionship. I'll update you all when something significant happens, like when my wife gets served or when I return to work and find out what happened with my boss. I'm trying not to gossip or dwell too much on the drama, even though curiosity is killing me. It's been a rough week, but I'm taking it one step at a time. Update. Hey Reddit, it's been a few days since my last update, and I'm taking a quick break from work to fill you in. First off, I want to express my heartfelt gratitude for all the support you've shown me. It's truly touching to see strangers from the internet offering such kindness and support. Now on to the update. I returned to work yesterday after my week off, thanks to my boss's wife's understanding. As soon as I stepped into the office, I noticed something off. My boss was nowhere to be seen and his office was vacant. I couldn't help but think, well, maybe he got what he deserved. I didn't waste any time. I approached a colleague, someone I wouldn't exactly call a friend, but more of an acquaintance and asked him for the scoop on what had happened. Turns out my boss had been mysteriously fired. I had to bite my lip to keep from laughing out loud. So my boss is out of the picture now. I actually forgot to update you all last night because I had planned to do so as soon as I got home, but it slipped my mind. Hence, I'm taking this lunch break to fill you in. It's pretty wild how quickly things unfolded. I haven't seen my boss's wife yet, but I'm looking forward to thanking her for taking swift action. I hope she's considering divorcing him because he's proven he doesn't deserve her. That's about it for now. I just wanted to keep you all in the loop because I know the curiosity has been killing you as much as it has been for me. Thanks again for all your support. Update. Hey, Reddit. This is a mini update because there hasn't been a lot going on lately. I just wanted to share that my wife did get served with the divorce papers. She went completely ballistic in my messages, which I honestly expected. She had gone radio silent for about a week before that. 
probably because I wasn't responding to her messages or calls. I have no idea where she is right now or if her family followed through with buying her a plane ticket out of state. She flooded my inbox with tons of messages, but I can't block her because I need to keep all the evidence for the divorce proceedings. She cursed me out, said I was wrong, and that I would regret it. Regret what? Getting rid of her manipulative, cheating presence in my life? Definitely not regretting that. My family has been checking in on me occasionally, which I appreciate. As for adopting that pet I've always wanted, I think I'll wait a few more months. Maybe until after the divorce is finalized. It's something I've wanted for a while, but my wife wasn't keen on it, so I held off. Now that she's no longer in the picture, I can finally pursue the things I've always wanted to do. I haven't reached out to her family because there's not much to discuss with them at the moment. So that's the gist of it. Just taking things one step at a time and looking forward to a fresh start. Uh, you know, it's been a wild ride dealing with everything that's happened, but there's one thing that's really been bugging me. I've been receiving some seriously weird DMs from people suggesting that I get involved with my boss's wife or even sleep with her. I mean seriously, what in the actual world? This is real life we're talking about, not some Hollywood script, a soap opera, or some Bollywood movie. I want to make it crystal clear I am not in any way sexually attracted to my boss's wife. Sure, I thanked her for taking swift action regarding the situation, and yes, we've developed a bit of a closer relationship because of it. But let me emphasize again, there is absolutely no intention or desire on my part to sleep with her. We're on good terms as friends, but that's as far as it goes. So to whoever is sending those messages, please stop. It's completely inappropriate and disrespectful. I'm dealing with a lot right now, and the last thing I need is to entertain such absurd suggestions. Let's keep things real and respectful here. Thanks. Update. Hey Reddit, it's been quite a ride, and I owe you all an apology for not updating sooner. Life took off like a rocket, and I kept pushing off this update, but here we are. First off, thank you all for the flood of kind DMs when I logged back in. It's heartwarming, truly. I'll be sticking around here, though I won't be as active. So on to the update. My wife and I are officially divorced. No, I didn't end up sending her money for that flight ticket home. Turns out she had been homeless for a bit before her family helped out. She begged me to take her back, but that ship sailed long ago. We went to court and I came out on top. Cheating, threats, all the evidence was there. She got a bit of money, but it won't last long. Not my concern anymore. The moment I left that courtroom, I blocked her. Closure at last. As for my boss, nope, no contact since that final day. On a brighter note, I did get that pet I wanted. A cute little cat. We've been bonding and it's been a joy. My family has been my rock through all of this and I couldn't ask for better support. Oh, and I got recommended for a promotion. So there's something to look forward to. I'm taking some time for myself, no dating plans in sight. Just focusing on work, my cat, and rebuilding. Thanks for being part of this journey with me. It's wild to think how much has changed in just a few months.